Shaw Cox National Airport. <laughs> oh, of course, raindrop. How's it, guys? So we flew from Cape Town to Durban, and then I drove from Durban to Zululand Tree Lodge. This is in the Ubizana Game Reserve, so it's in the middle of the of a reserve, which is quite cool. But we're basically here for the now. I have to say all these things right for the Shushule Shushule game reserve as well it's the oldest park in south africa apparently very nice and the main reason why we're here is actually because of the wetlands the name of that park is easy easy manga liso i believe i hope at least i'm ready for a lot of wildlife nature and serenity this lodge is also quite cool on itself so let me just show you around quickly hi how are you <laughs> <laughs> Over here you have the restaurant and you have breakfast and dinner over here. You look out over on this tree and this tree just has like a million weavers who are all building their nests for their women. Fun fact, the women, like the female weaver has to approve the nest if it's not approved, the male weaver has to start all over again, which is crazy. And now we're just gonna walk to our little cottage. So when I enter, there's my dad. These are our beds, amazing. And then we look out over a little pond over there. And then we have the bathroom. Hey. All right, and today we are in Saint Lucia, quite a sort of little touristy village. But it's actually really quite nice. I would definitely stay here one day as well. Um, and uh, now we're just gonna fetch our tickets for the hippo. Ooh, oh my God! Our hippo and croc tour today. So uh, let's go. I already saw a hippo on the way here, which was awesome. I think I, we have to be here. I booked tickets at the Heritage Tours and Safaris. Buying some snacks for on the boat. Not very hungry. It's the thing when you travel and you have breakfast and dinner in a hotel. I'm always full. I don't need so much in between. Product of Thailand. Oh my god, seriously? I would only just travel back to Thailand to eat a fresh coconut. They are the best. Okay, in search of the dried mango strips. Where are the dried mango strips? Got it. <laughs> They're laughing. <laughs> Look at this crazy nest guys, it's built on these two bamboo sticks and I just made a beautiful picture with the bird in it as well. Can you imagine? Uh, only Ladies. the dominant male. <laughs> we saw, saw, lot, lot saw a lot of hippos. A lot of hippos. It's raining like crazy. And some uh, crocodiles. 
but it was beautiful. Yes. But it's very rainy. But the shit weather. <laughs> Well, the wetlands were very wet today. I think the eagle was the highlight actually. Crazy, it was so nearby and so beautiful. And at the same time, I learned a whole lot about hippos. A lot of things that I really didn't know. So for instance, they're vegan. <laughs> they only eat plants. They can't swim. They have to walk. So if you see them in the water, they're always walking. They can kill human beings. I think I knew that. They're really quite dangerous, although they don't really look so dangerous. That's about it, I guess. Let's just hope that the sun will shine tomorrow, for a bit at least. Did you like it? Yes, I like the, I like the hippos, mainly because they make a very nice uh, laughter. <laughs> That's true. I, I, when I see a group of them, I always think, well, somebody told a good joke. Yeah. And everybody starts to, to laugh. And uh, I like the, the American fish, African fish. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. I've never seen it so clear from nearby. Did you learn something new today? Yes, I, I, I heard that hippos don't swim. Yeah. <laughs> I, I always thought they could swim, but they walk. That was uh, new for me. Yes. All right, we're back at home, the lodge, and we're now having quite a lot of red wine and some nice dinner with some knives. So bleh, that's the right... <laughs> That's the red wine talking, oh my god. With some nice people that we met as well. And ooh, there are so many bugs right now. And I actually think and I hope, ooh, my teeth also show that I drank red wine. I shouldn't vlog right now. Anyhow, yeah, we're just gonna have some dinner right now and have not a lot of sleep because our safari tomorrow morning will start at six o'clock. Crazy. Crazy. So, okay, let's have some dinner right now. Good morning. Yes, thank you. Good morning. Marula tree for my favorite drink. Oh. 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 a wild ride <laughs> well that was it for the safari it's now 9 30 we're gonna have some breakfast now the main thing that I love about safaris is that um, the guides usually tell so much more info about the animals that you don't know or they mention things that you don't even see so that was really nice unfortunately we didn't see a lot of rhinos the park in itself is very beautiful very green very lush um, maybe the most beautiful park that I've ever been in South Africa. So that was really quite cool. Let's have some breakfast. Just wanted to say it's now like 10.30, so I still have the whole day left. I'm just gonna get some work done right now. And I will also go back to the park later on in the afternoon with some Dutch friends that I met here and hopefully see some more rhinos ourselves. In the meantime, I'm very curious if you've ever been on a safari or anything like this. I've done it quite a few times by now and I absolutely love it, seriously. It's just I have, although I'm like this urban hippie, 
I don't know what I'm doing in the city anymore when I'm surrounded in this, well, this wonderful environment and just wildlife in itself. I get so much positive energy from everything down here. It's crazy, it's so beautiful. Ja, ja joh, dat zijn allemaal neushoorns en daar komen de vliegels. Ja. Hier links wat daar. Ja, ja. Ja, ja. Ja, maar hier liepen toch ook? Dat zijn de panies met z'n allen, ja, ja, ja. Dat zijn de schoolreisjes. Ja. Okay, and then the SD card was full. It was a very good stay. I absolutely loved it. And we're now just gonna have some dinner. We're now just gonna have some dinner and then we're gonna pack our bags and we're heading to Swaziland tomorrow. And I can't wait. Seriously, I'm so curious about Swaziland. I've seen quite a lot of South Africa by now. And I've heard so many positive things about Swaziland that I just, I can't wait to see it myself and show you guys. So I hope to see you in the next video and I want to thank you for watching. Bye!